Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I was watching another one of Gene's interviews that really bothered my spirit. I've noticed he's been on this threatening thing with Gloria Velez, and I don't understand why. Because Gloria literally doesn't bother anybody. Um, she's done her, her, her shit back in the day. Everybody's aware of how Gloria Velez got into the industry as a video vixen. We've all seen, you know, videos back in the day of her wilding out. But what a lot of people don't understand is that that girl was high out her mind. She was drugged a lot of times. And she was manipulated by a lot of older men in the industry who should have known better, including her baby's father. So I was watching Art of Dialogue, shout out to him, and uh, MREC TV. And there were two interviews that were done with Gene Deal where he's like threatening to release video of her. And it just, it, it really kind of bothered me. Like, why are we going there all of a sudden? You know, and I've always been, you know, I've always enjoyed some of Gene Deal's stories, but... What's up with these threats to this lady? Gloria Velez, she came out and, you know, she called out the video that we did where you was talking about her and Aaron Hall. And she said that she never met you before. How you feel about her saying that? I think that Gloria need to look in history and see all the things that she done. Now she's going to get out there and she's going to sit up and talk about, yo, he's lying just to, he'll do anything just to get interviews and all that stuff. Man, listen to me. I got way more stories than a Gloria Velez story. I got a whole lot of stories they never even heard of. So me saying what she said, come on, man. And she talked about Aaron, and then she tells the lie now, oh, that name Aaron across my pussy is because of my son. Who put their son name across their pussy? Yeah, that's weird. That's very weird, bro. <laughs> she put Aaron Hall name across her pussy because at the time that was Aaron pussy. That wasn't had nothing to do with her son. So she could talk all the shit about Gene Deal that she want to. But she know her own history. And God bless if she straightened herself out. Leave me alone. Because that'll be the next take on all the dialogue. So you have a tape in your possession of her walling up. I got the tape, bro. But it's some very important people on that tape also. That you don't want to expose. That I don't want to expose. But they got a way of blocking them out. <laughs> I don't I, I don't get into stuff like that. Nine times out of ten, when I speak on something, I speak on uh, a situation, I'm personally involved in that, man. And I, I want to let y'all fans know, man, that, you know, I ain't never lied about nothing. So when this girl, Miss Gloria Velez, came out and said that uh, I ain't never talked to P. Diddy bodyguard. Yo, sweetheart, wow. I was Scott Sports bodyguard at the time. You just know me as Peter bodyguard now. But the time we was at, I was with, with we was to, at Malibu and we was at Kanye West party. I was Scott Sports bodyguard. Scorch Storch, whatever this motherfucking name is, from Tough Jew Production. I was his bodyguard when you told us that story about Aaron. Mm. So. Don't make yourself look bad out there. Because, Rick, you know I got some tapes, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know I got some tapes, right? Oh, yeah. Gene got some tapes. I got some tapes, right? He got some tapes. I ain't gonna front. I got so. some tapes. And let's remind her what she did in Cancun. Uh-oh. That's all. Just remind her what she did with Cancun. Man. With Coco on the stage. I have some tapes. Leave me alone. All right. 
So y'all just heard what he said. Um, I I don't I don't get it. I don't understand his beef with her because she said she doesn't know him. Um, okay, <laughs> you know. And my thing is, he's saying that he has some tapes. He better hope she was of age, cause Gloria had been out there. You know, what I'm saying with like a lot of these people doing videos. She started as a teenager. 14, 15 years old. So that's really disturbing that he's screaming that he has tapes of her and things like that. And, you know, if it's the tape that people remember back in the day, she was still a teenager. And I think in the interview that he did with Art of Dialogue, he said she was 16. Those are not the type of tapes that you want to have and brag about wanting to release. You know, I just I just find the whole situation just really sad. And again, back in the day, it's like a lot of this stuff was seen as more acceptable. And a lot of times as women, you don't realize that you're being manipulated until you get older and you look back at and you look back at it. If you guys remember, um, Corey Feldman said this too. He said he didn't know until he looked back at it as he got older. He said they were everywhere. Who was everywhere? He said they were everywhere I turned around. All of these pedos in the industry that literally harassed and, you know, molested him and Corey Hames. They were everywhere. But you don't understand that as a kid, you just want to be accepted by the adults around you. When you're young, you want to be grown. And then once you, want to, once you get grown, you wish you were a kid again. And that's why I always tell young people to like really appreciate the space and the time that you're in appreciate your youth you're never going to get that back stop trying to grow up too fast you're only that age one time so i it's just very heartbreaking i just i just hate it like i just felt like you know usually i watch his interviews and i enjoy them but i'm like damn it's like kind of taking a dark turn like why is she being threatened with the release of tapes that were made when she was possibly underage and people don't understand, I, and, and even when I look back on it, I know we had a really deep convo last night. I feel like a part of my childhood was just a huge lie with all the stuff that's coming out, like the things that we're finding out that was really going on behind the scenes. Because these girls, the Gloria Velezes, the, the Superheads, the um, Esther Baxter, Buffy the Body, these were the girls that we were like, looking up to in hip hop. They were living the life. Melissa Ford. These women were beautiful. They were with some of the most successful rappers and entertainers. We had no idea as kids that this was going on behind the scenes. We're just watching the videos and we're seeing them in the big pimping video and they're at Carnival and Gloria's in that beautiful white fur outfit. And we're looking at it as kids like this is the life. I would love to do something like that. It's no different than when young girls look at models ripping the runway. Naomi Campbell, Tyra Banks. We're thinking they're just wearing beautiful clothes and living their life. They're walking the runways of Milan and, and you know, Paris and things like that. Then we find out there's a bunch of sinister shit going on behind the scenes. It's really sad, like just everything that's going on that we're being awoken to. So before people act like, oh, you know, that was back in the day, you know, y'all were just being fast. Why were y'all looking up to video vixens anyways? It's no different than what y'all do now. Y'all sit around and look up to influencers all day. Y'all sit and follow, you know, influencer, whatever influencer with the latest BBL all day. So it was the same thing back then. We just didn't have social media. And these were the people that were fed to us to look up to. The Diddy's and the Russell Simmons, because they were rich. They were well-to-do black men. They got themselves out the hood. They're making a way for their family and, and you know, they're living a lifestyle. They have their own clothing brand. Only to find out everything was just a mirage. These people were terrible. They weren't paying people. They were abusing people. They were taking advantage of people. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. The age of Aquarius, things are being exposed. I don't feel bad for any of these people. 
It's it's really sad. The things that went on back then. You know, and I just feel like, dang, it's like I can't even it's it's hard even when you think about like just like the different celebrities and just the different things. Like I think Danny Boy, he's been back on Art of Dialogue talking about how like Misa was messing with Suge Knight. I had no idea all that was going on and Suge Knight posted a picture of him babysitting Justin. What in the hell? It's like the industry is just a, a ratchet ass high school. It's no different than just high school. It's just people who have more fame, notoriety and, and money. So they get away with a lot more stuff than regular folks. So that's why I say don't look up to nobody. Look up to yourself and you know what I'm saying? Keep your relationship tight with God. Cause you know, men and women will disappoint you every single time. So a lot of these fallen idols are, are falling. I feel no ways about Diddy. It's very funny that now all these major companies want to jump on the Diddy bandwagon and, um, you know, cancel him and they don't want him anywhere near the Grammys and all this stuff. But these these Diddy stories are not new. I've been keeping my, my foot on Diddy's neck for years, even through the backlash, the draggings, the threats, getting cussed out, being told, you know, I was blackmail bashing even though I'm defending other black men like Mace and Freddie P because of what Diddy did to them. But the reason why it's even being listened to now on a different, um, with, a, with a fresh set of eyes is because of the victim. Cassie is the perfect victim. She's beautiful, she's racially ambiguous, and she's unproblematic. You've never known Cassie to be involved in a bunch of mess. So they can't dismiss it. Where if it was loudmouth Carisha who won't shut the fuck up about getting peed on and doing interviews, you know, just the most low vibrational, nasty interviews. She did one recently with Ari where Ari's talking about she would let somebody use the bathroom on her. Literally willing to sell her soul for a bag. But because Cassie's the perfect, because Cassie's the perfect victim, people are not willing to ostracized Diddy and washed their hands of Diddy. But when that young black man from making the band, Freddie P was having a mental breakdown two years ago, how many people outside of myself and a few other black YouTubers even covered it? When he was having a mental breakdown about the stuff he went through on making of the band. Where were all these Hollywood folks? Where were all these, you know, execs to pull back? When Mace was out here calling Diddy out over and over again, when he said, your name should not be Brother Love because there's nothing loving about you. Nobody cared. Nobody covered it besides me and a few other people. So again, Cassie's the perfect victim. So now they're taking it seriously. So the whole situation is sad, but I'm just, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling, you know, Gene sending shots at her. I just, I just don't get that. Um, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of these young girls were manipulated, you know, and it's very easy to dismiss it and be like, oh, they were just fast. They knew what was going on. They asked for it. But when you get people who are in impoverished situations and you take them from this situation to what they deem or think is glamorous, a lot of y'all would have went. You just didn't have that opportunity. So yeah, it's it's really sad. It's really sad all the stuff that's going on. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.